Hi there, this week we're going to be talking about bypassing Netflix and their same IP policy. My name is Steve, this is QA Weekly, and to recap, last episode we were talking about creating your own VPN and many of the benefits of having your own VPN, like owning the hardware so it won't go out of business, being already in charge of the bandwidth so you could actually already use bandwidth that you have, actually being able to control how much bandwidth that you have for whatever you want to do with it, being able to set it up as you want, being able to connect from anywhere in the world, having limited users, a whole bunch of stuff. This week we're going to be talking about bypassing Netflix and their same IP policy. So how would you do it? Well, the mere fact that you're connecting to your own home VPN means that for every single device, every single website, every single application, you are home. This means that you can use anything anywhere in the world and appear like you are home. Meaning that anything that you do is going to work as though you are home. So what does this mean? This means that if you go up to every single cell phone, tablet, laptop, and desktop and set up a VPN to your VPN, you will be able to connect using that device to your own home network and use that IP address and anything connected on that network as though you were actually home. Meaning that you'll actually be able to do whatever you are used to doing in your own home without any penalties whatsoever. But it does come with some issues. What happens if you change the password to anything? What happens if you have to change some settings? What happens if you need to update some of the IP addresses or anything else? You're going to need to have something known as remote management on in one way or another. So let's say you're lucky enough to find a router for let's say grandparents, your kids, or anybody else living outside the home that allowed you to connect to your own home VPN. You might want to be able to connect into that router externally and update any information whenever there is a problem, meaning that you'll be able to fix anything remotely. If you have laptops and desktops, you can actually use a program like TeamViewer and connect into it to be able to change any of the settings within your devices. And that'll also allow you to connect into your own router by another means if ever you needed to go through that method as well. It means that you'll be able to fix and repair anything remotely no matter what it was, not just fixing Netflix and putting your password back in, but being able to do anything that you need to do to maintain the connections and the security and everything else that goes with having your own VPN. And obviously I'm not talking about thousands and thousands of users. I'm talking about just a handful of users that would be able to use your Netflix account and anything else as though they were inside your home. The benefits are definitely there security and cost savings at multiple different levels. And all you need to do is find a router that has the ability to create a VPN, find another router or many others that allow you to connect to VPN or just allow the devices themselves to connect to the VPN directly. And everything else is fairly transparent and doesn't need any training whatsoever from anyone else and being able to connect to any of these devices remotely is a added benefit. So I hope this gives you an idea of how to bypass Netflix and their same IP policy. Refer to the previous episode, which will have been already at the top on YouTube as a link for details on the process of creating your own VPN. Like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those just to think benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tkwayweekly.com or go to my website, tkwayweekly.com, where you can see the show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course, use the contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games, head over to twitch.tv slash zx1981, or you can see me play video games every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.